Hi, so it's fairly common here in Tbilisi. You can see behind that's uh, an entrance to the basement. Uh, a lot of streets here in Tbilisi, uh, the capital city of Georgia, have those uh, tiny open spaces underneath, and this one is a uh, it's a store. And you will see that. So the good thing about this is that you can actually recognize that this there is a, a stairs down to the basement. But there are some locations that you will never actually recognize that you gotta be very careful when you're walking along the street meaning along the pavement because uh, there is a hole an opening and <laughs> there is no indication that there is such a it could be a house or it could be a, a store or uh, or whatnot it, it's a it's a basement which is fairly common here in uh, Tbilisi this is a uh, part of the uh, old city but the main old city is on that direction and you said i'm heading to that direction my hotel is on that side and uh yeah it's fair to come and see this one actually one day uh, that was i think that was two days ago i was walking i know it exists but i did not recognize i was about <laughs> i was about to get uh, to step onto it so because there is no indication at all especially if you're walking at night it's just a matter of uh, getting used to it see but the good thing is that this one you can recognize but in other cases you won't and the next to it is a I think that's a big shop <laughs> all right today I will gonna try the kachapuri the national dish of uh, Georgia the country all right don't be mistaken huh I'm not in the state of Georgia uh, I'm not in the United States I am in the Caucasus and this is uh, in between uh, Asia and Europe and I am in Tbilisi it's the capital city of the of the country Georgia so a big shop here is very common and they are pretty good in uh, pastries Kachapuri is the best and I made Kachapuri a few days before my departure to Georgia but of course <laughs> it's not the real Kachapuri so but I, I'm going to try to die and uh, it's a local delicacy tomorrow I'm heading to, I'm heading to the uh, another city it's about five hours from here and the only way to get there is either by driving or mini buses so uh, trains not possible the big buses the blue and the blue not possible so i have to wake up early early in the morning before the crack of dawn uh, to catch the bus in the station uh, the bus leaves at eight o'clock in the morning but um i will still have to walk but i can take a pop to get to the bus station i want to walk to get some uh, car you know, walking is the best when you're traveling and you see lots and lots of things that you will never actually see when you are in the, on the wheels all right so I'm heading to the sulfur bus today and um, as well as to the maiden. I hope I'm pronouncing this word right. I know I found out that the maiden is another way to get to the Narikala Fortress. I was in the Narikala Fortress um, two days ago and I took the cable car today. I'm go I want to go to the uh, to uh, to that area as well by Maiden. I believe Maiden is quite historic and it's one of the main uh, attractions here in Tbilisi. Plus the super bath and the history behind and their historic. I don't have the details yet, but I will eventually. All right, so I'm heading on to the super bath. It's not. Don't get mistaken. How huh? it's not a spa. It's a super bath. All right. I'm heading up in that direction according to the Google map. Glad I got the Google map. Uh, it's about uh, two kilometers from where I'm at. Okay. All right, so bye for now from uh, Tbilisi, the capital city. As I said, I'm heading up to another city. It's about four or five hours for the Barzia, and I will be there for three days and then I'm going to for Jomi for another three days. So that will towards the coast but I'm not heading to the coast so I'm heading I'm, I'm staying in Lan and I would love to explore uh, the, the ancient cave city in Barzia 
all right and the uh, and Bordomi is known for mineral uh, water, natural spring water in Bordomi. I was uh, searching online and watching some nicely done uh, documentary video about Bordomi. It's quite quite a big city. I don't know if it is bigger than Tbilisi, probably not. Tbilisi, you will need to take about five minutes or a week to explore the city itself. This is not unlike uh, the Seychelles uh, capital city, which is. Uh, Ma Male, okay. So the island of Male, because in Seychelles, so the, the capital city Victoria. In a nick of a time, in 10 15 minutes, you're done. So uh, you are back here with your destination. Right, so the photograph, according to this map, is uh, towards that direction. Alright, bye for now. I'll see you later. Enjoy the rest of the day. It's a Tuesday. Uh, the forecast is 100 and <laughs> the green sport high yeah I uh, see it, it, the weather is uh, quite fluctuating there's no rain so far but there is a uh, rain forecast tomorrow hopefully not because I'm going to Bartia yeah? and uh, but it should be fine all right I love the heat all right as long as my brawly I started wearing my brawly because I see some people wearing board as well all right yes uh, sometimes it is quite unbearable but it's get cool at night though by the way, so mask here is uh, no longer, um, I would say, required when you're outdoor, but when you are indoor, you gotta wear your mask. Alright, so I think they're getting better, and uh, there is no more commandant hour, meaning to say no more curfew, and uh, people, you see them, okay, uh, running about at night. So my veranda, my hotel has a veranda, and I normally arrive back home around 3 or 4 and I take a snooze. And I will not gonna be waking up around until 11 or 12 before I get a chance to go in and uh, do uh, people watch <laughs> by the run and I see them at 12 feet not walking around. No more command and hour. Let's keep it that way, alright? Heading up, bye for now once again. Love the hearing at Chibilisi. And you see all the, these are the Soviet uh, Union influencer building at the brick wall, right? Cheers, heading on.